Today, we commemorate the memorial of the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary is based on an ancient tradition that says Mary was taken to the temple in Jerusalem when she was three years old and dedicated to God. What we celebrate on this day is the fact that God chose to dwell in Mary in a very special way. In response, Mary offers her whole self at the service of God. The widow in today's gospel generously offers the meager amount he has, and Jesus admires her for her action. Friends, God invites us to be open to His grace and offer ourselves to Him as Mary did. This is Sister Clemens for today's Gospel Power. Jesus looked up and saw rich people putting their gifts into the treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. He said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in all she had to live on. Jesus openly praises the widow's generosity, for otherwise, her beautiful act will simply be overlooked and forgotten because of the meager amount of her contribution. Generosity and trust in God's providence go hand in hand. One can only part with what is essential when one is secure that one's will will be supplied. But one who fears ending up deprived of what is necessary for survival will find it impossible to share. We are meant to be channels of God's blessings, not mere repositories for the safekeeping and conservation. When we know how to let God's blessings flow, they will keep on coming and abound for many, according to the intention of their giver. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, increase our trust that the Father is mindful of our needs. Teach us to share not only from our pocket, but from our hearts. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.